The rules on the block isn't different from the gals to the guys. See, a lot of young black women want to have clout in their neighborhood, which can turn jealousy to a fatal attraction. See, many women in Chicago use their clout to become crime legends, which are destined for a secret life of a gang girl, for a street status of that of a killer. Tanisha was a young expiring mother who had dreams and goals to make it out the project so she could provide better opportunities for herself and her son. In the black community, we are often boasting of the ever-growing pain of gun violence and poverty. And in truth, we hate it. Black Americans are born under the worst set of conditions. We are born in war and at birth, we must pick a side within our own race. Random, they say pressure bursts pipes, but diamonds are built under pressure and stress. So the definition of a diamond is not precious stones. It is a black queen. Anyways, Tanisha portrayed the life of a gang girl, but she was no Jakira. She was a loving mother who got caught up in the street ties, obvious by her throwing up gang signs with her peers. Tanisha lived in Macon, Georgia, which is north of Valdosta, which is next to my birthplace in Lakeland, Georgia. The city sees its gang violence just as any other city in the southern roof of the U.S. So let's take flight from Chirac to GA, the city of fine Georgia peaches and wet paint, from the windy city to the southern roots of the Black Queens. Here is the story of Tanisha Hammond, and making Georgia. Tanisha Hammond was an aspiring mother raised amongst the gang violence in the city of Macon, Georgia. The violence in the city caused her to seek refuge with the homeboys she had met in Northeast High School before she graduated to 12th grade. In this day and age, having clout is better than cash. Cash brings power, but it doesn't bring respect. People with money get robbed. Those with clout have respect. After Nisha graduated, she started hanging with gang guys as this is the culture norm in our society to have gang ties. Tanisha's death was a ripple effect amongst murder for hire and murder for clout. Before she died, she earned the hearts of her friends, especially Tashira. Tanisha and Tashira had a bond that could not be broken. How you doing, baby girl? I wish I could call you again and say, Ty, come pick me up before y'all go. She stayed coming through, made sure all of us got to where we was going. Hashtag TDK. We love you, Tanisha. 
I miss you, my dog. Rest in heaven. Hashtag Big TDK. Long live Tanisha. I remember, man, we was missing you so much. First Thanksgiving without you, we missing you, baby. Hashtag Time World. After speaking with close friends of Tanisha, I come to learn that her close peeps were Tashira, India, Danielle, Kia, and Taisha. Ty was also very close with her mother, Renata Hammonds, as well. Tanisha started to settle down once her son Amari was born. She saw his eyes reminded her of her grandmother and vowed to be the best mother a baby son could see. She stated, Love the people God gave you, cause one day he gonna need them back. Never let anyone tell you different. Mama loves you, Amari. Before Tanisha's death, she went through an attribute of emotion from her brother ATM Woody after he was booked by 12. While he was incarcerated, Tanisha stood 10 toes down for her bro and kept his status alive. Went and seen Lil Bro. Swear his smile be all I wanna see. I know we good, I don't care if the whole world was against you, if I F with you, I F with you, dudes was all in your face when you was free, now they switching up, I swear dudes, be so fake, I love you for life, ain't no changing up. The death of Tanisha is the result of the war that began its roots to murder dating back to September of 2013. Bridget Flowers posted a message on Facebook addressing her two sons, Jashawn and Javon Jackson. She posted, I would like to wish my twins, Jashawn Jackson and Javon Jackson, a happy birthday for their 13th year. The greeting began hope your day is good six months after bridget posted that to facebook she was shot in the head by jacinto flowers her estranged husband after being released for hitting bridget the following week jacinto spent 10 years in prison in the 90s for dealing cocaine bridget was pronounced deceased and jacinto was found guilty of capital murder and was given a life sentence her two twins had to live with family members until they were 18. One of the twins, Jamon, is now 18, was in jail himself on a murder charge. Amongst Jamon Jackson being a gangster disciple, a fight broke out at Northeast High School involving Kendrick Davis, who was affiliated with the OG Crips. Weeks prior, Kendrick and Eric Bowden, was also a member of the Crips, began bragging about a shooting on Jamon's friends. Kendrick and Eric declared war during their lives after they spotted one of the twins, Jamon Jackson, watching them. Jabon then declared war with the Crips, so he rounded up Troy Jackson, Tanisha's brother Demarcus Heyman, and Cortavius Adis to get down. After arriving to the high school, they got to banging with the Crips Kendrick and Eric, which resulted in Kendrick Davis being shot and killed later that day. Although Eric Bowden was on Kendrick's side, him and Jamar and his friends were booked on capital murder while felony participation resulted in the death of another. Georgia State statute allowed all involved to be charged with murder. Kendrick's death resulted in his friend and fellow Crip member Eric Bowden being charged with capital murder. Their enemies, Jamal, Demarcus, and Cortivas was charged with murder as well. The war continues. Tanisha supported her bro while he fought his murder charge alongside Jamon. She told Demarcus, When it seemed little bro, swear that smile be all I wanna see. I know we good. I don't care if the whole world was against you. If I F with you, I F with you. Dudes was all in your face when you was free. Now they switch it up. 
I swear dudes, be so fake, I love you boy, ain't no changing up. Two nights before Christmas, Jamon's twin brother, Jashawn, was streaming live on Facebook from a Nissan Altima that Tanisha Hammond was driving when she was shot and killed by members in a passing vehicle. The murder of Tanisha was retaliation for Jashawn's brother, Jamal, and his gang for killing Kendrick Davis. Months later, Keyshawn Jackson, who was in the vehicle with Tanisha and Jashawn, was shot and killed by Keyshawn Jones in a parked car on Bristol Road in East Mackin. Twelve hours after the GDs killed Kendrick Davis, they then shot his mother's crib up and further revenge against the Crips. So twelve hours after Tanisha was murdered, three members of the rival gang shot her mother's crib up for further revenge on Kendrick's mother's house being shot up. Bridget Flowers is an aspiring mother of two twin boys, Jamon and Jason Jackson, and a loving wife to Jacinto Flowers. Tanisha Hammond's mother, Renata Hammonds, is the sister of Bridget Flowers. Jacinto, in a rage of jealousy, shoots Bridget in the face in front of Renata Hammonds, Tanisha's mother. Jacindo Flowers is charged and convicted of capital murder and is given a life sentence. Bridges' twin boys, Jamon and Jashawn, are now 18. Kendrick Davis and Eric Bowden are bragging online about shooting up four cribs that belong to Jamon's crew. 
Jamon assembles his troops, Troy Jackson, Demarcus Heyman, and Cartavius Addis. They drive to Northeast High School to fight Kendrick Davis and Eric Bowden for bragging about shooting up their cribs. Jamon Bang and Rep the GDs and Kendrick Gang are members of the Crips. They spot each other and get to banging at school. Later that night, Jamon, Troy, Demarcus, and Catavius drove down on Kendrick and Eric and both sides started shooting. In the drive-by shooting, Kendrick is struck in the head and dies from the injury. Twelve then booked Jamon Jackson and Eric Bowden. Months later, Twelve then booked Troy, Demarcus Heyman, and Cortavius Addis after being snitched out. Twelve hours after Kendrick Davis died, the GDs rolled down and shot his mother's house up for further revenge. While Jamon, Demarcus Heyman, and others are booked in the county jail fighting murder, Jamon's brother Jashon Jackson and Demarcus' sister Tanisha are cooling. Tanisha Hammond, Jashon Jackson, and Keyshawn Jackson are hanging out when a car pulled a drive-by shooting piercing Tanisha in the head. Facebook at the time of the drive-by. A bullet pierced through her window and struck Tanisha in the head and she died on scene. Seven hours after the death of Tanisha, the rival gang shot Tanisha's mother's house up in spiteful revenge for Kendrick's house being shot up in the wake of his death. Shortly after the death of Tanisha, Keyshawn Jackson who was in the vehicle was also shot and killed three months later. Keyshawn Jones was later arrested for capital murder of the murder of Keyshawn Jackson. Murder trial for the death of Kendrick Davis 
defendants Jamon Jackson, Demarcus Heyman, Troy Jackson, and Cartavius Addis is undergoing. The murder trial for Keyshawn Jones for the murder of Keyshawn Jackson is undergoing prosecution. No arrests have been made for the murder of Tynesha Hammonds. Her death is an ongoing investigation. We missing you like hell, Tanisha. I remember, man, you are my heart. I love you. We missing you hella crazy. Ty World. Long live Tanisha. I remember she was a really good friend and always showed love. I love you, baby. Long live Tanisha. Miss my gangster with all my heart. Dude, you had my back from the very first start. That's a real lady. Long live Queen Ty. First Thanksgiving, without you, we miss you. Hashtag Ty. Tanisha Hammonds, this is my first Thanksgiving without you. I couldn't even do it. No potatoes or salad this year. Cause I can remember you saying you gonna do it. You gonna pick it up and everything. And still, I end up making it. You always tricked me into doing it. I miss you girl. I love you so much. Tywo forever. So, you know, it's up tomorrow, right? Your way or no way. And that's just what it is, period. I miss you, this is crazy. We used to do it all. Definitely all late nights and early mornings. I love you for life. It's so hard coming to your page. I swear it puts me in a whole nother place. Damn, Ty. I'm so ready to wake up from this and see your smile again. I really missed you. Miss my little gangster with all my heart. And you had my back from the very first start. And that's a real lady. You know, I wasn't gonna let this day pass. It was just so hard to look at all these posts and just remember all the good times we had. I love you. Happily, heavenly birthday time. Damn girl, you cross my mind every day and I love you. I don't supposed to question God, but why? Why you? Cause we missing you like crazy. And I'm here for you. Love you for life. 